This video is designed to give you an idea how to um, write equations uh, or formulas for exponential growth or decay. Um, and uh, we'll look at a few problems on how to do this. So first, any exponential growth or decay problem looks a lot like the sequence, the geometric sequence that it's related to. We talked about that in a previous video, so you can go look that one up if you'd like. Um, but the, the main thing to recognize is that any function f of x has an initial value. We'll call that a sub 0. You could also call it a sub i for initial value. Um, I've seen both. Um, and then it's going to grow at an exponential growth or decay at an exponential um, rate. And that means there's a growth factor or a shrinking factor, r. We'll call that the common ratio. That's the term used in the geometric sequences as well. And this is raised to the xth power. So what this really means is, and so let's look at this. Let's um, make sure that everybody's clear that this is the initial value. And that's when x equals 0. Now you could also designate it as when x equals 1. Um, if you're doing a sequence, typically you would do x equals 1. If you're doing a gym, um, an exponential function, it's easiest just to call it the initial value and say time 0 is the initial value. And then as x counts um, through the years or the days or the um, you know, whatever, whatever it is you're counting that, that is growing, um, whatever it is you're counting by, um, you can start x at, at 0, and then the first one is going to give you the next uh, thing, and, that's, and so forth. So when the time is 0, for example, um, your initial value, r, r to the 0th power would be 1, and your initial value would, of course, uh, be your starting population, or your starting um, um, you know, pounds of food or whatever. Okay? Um, and R is going to be your common ratio. And that means it's the growth factor. So, for example, if you doubled every year and had an initial value of, let's say, 200, your um, formula would look like this. F of X equals 200 times 2 to the X power. What that means is you would start at 200 and in the first, so in the first year when x is 0, um, it would be 2 to the 0th, which is 1, so you'd just have 200 people, let's say. Um, when x is 1, uh, it would have doubled after one uh, time sequence, one day or one year or one month or whatever. Um, so then it would be 200 times 2 to the first, and 2 to the first, of course, is 2, so it'd be 400. So you would be getting data points um, 0, 200 if you wanted to graph it, and then 1, 400, and then 2, um, let's see, 2 to the second is 4, so times 200 is 800, and so on. And of course, the difference here is that we could also say, how about after a year and a half, and then we could do 1.5 comma what the whatever the answer is and you could calculate what 2 to the 1.5 is and then multiply that by 200 um, and get yourself an answer. So this is the general format of an exponential function where the depend the independent variable, the independent variable, the variable that you are allowed to change um, is the exponent, and that's the definition of an exponential function. As it grows, as x grows, um, you grow fast, you, you get uh, a bigger and bigger amount. So, of course, if r is greater than 1, um, then this is going to be a, a growth factor. So, r is bigger than 1, you will grow, because you'll be multiplying by um, powers of a number larger than 1. If r equals 1, it's boring, and nothing happens. So I'll just write boring. <laughs> um, and if r is um, less than 1 um, and bigger than 0, then what you get is uh, um, it, things shrink. So this is called decay in exponential terms. Decay also known as shrinking. Okay, 
Let's go to the next slide and we'll look at um, some problems. So here's a problem. A uh, museum had 7,500 visitors this year. The curators, uh, the curators, however you pronounce it, of the museum expect that the number, uh, that number to grow by 5% each year. What is the function that will predict the number of visitors each year and how many visitors would they expect 15 years from now? Um, this means that they're going to have an initial value. Uh, so let's just write f of x equals... 7,500 times some growth rate. Now, if it's going up 5% each year, then you're going to have 105% um, of, the, uh, of what you had the year before in, in the subsequent year. In other words, um, a 5% increase can be written as a 105% new number, new number, and 105% as a multiplier is 1.05. So we're going to use the multiplier 1.05. I'm going to put it in parentheses, although that's not really necessary, raised to the xth power. So what this is really saying is, after at the beginning, when x is 0, at time t equals 0, you have 7,500 visitors. The following year, you would have 100% of those 7,500 years and 5% more. In other words, you're growing by 5%. This should look very similar to the compound interest formula. And in fact, it is the compound interest formula. It simply says that something is growing 5% a year consistently year over year or month over month or um, you know day by day. Um, so in this case, uh, you could imagine this being $7,500 and your bank account is going up 5% a year, compounded annually. Um, so it's essentially the same problem. And this problem then, of course, uh, we now have our formula and we can look at this and say, oh, if we're going up 5% a year, we'll multiply by 1.05 a bunch of times. How many times? However many years it is. So that means notationally we're going to write f of 15 means we're going to find out what the 15th year would look like and that of course is going to be the same as if it was 15 years of compound interest um, and if you do this calculation you should wind up finding that this multiplier right here is approximately equal to 2.07 what was it? Eight nine two eight and some more. Um, two eight, excuse me. And of course, that's simply a um, and you know a, a, a long decimal, and we're not going to worry about what the details are. If you multiply this out, you're going to wind up with something on the order of fifteen thousand five hundred ninety one people. I think that's rounded to the nearest person. So that gives you an idea how that kind of problem would work. And this is a, a perfect example of an exponential growth function. Um, let's go to the next slide. Here's another problem. And this one would be uh, actually something that is shrinking because they want to reduce the amount of garbage. So they're reducing the amount of garbage each person throws out by 2% a year. Now, if we think about our previous problem, what that's really saying is our growth factor is a shrinkage factor, but if we're going down 2% each year, then that's equivalent to having 98% left after each year of what you had the previous year. As a multiplier, that's going to be 0 0.98. So there's our growth factor, or our, uh, in this case, our decay factor. Um, which we've also called the common ratio r. So our function at this point is going to be f of x equals, and of course it starts at 1,500 pounds. Not very well written there. Let's uh, do a little erasing on that. Sorry about that. Um, at 1,500 pounds. And we're going to multiply that by 0 0.98 to the xth power. Now what that really means, again, is we have 1,500 pounds initially, and then after one year we'd have 1,500, we'd have 98% of 1,500 pounds. After two years we'd have 98% of 98% 98 of 1,500 pounds, and so on. Once again, um, this is, you know, exponential decay, so we're shrinking, and that makes sense. Um, and if we wanted to figure out um, 
how many pounds they would throw out 10 years from now. Sorry, I seem to have cut off the uh, end of this um, 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 word problem. Um, how many pounds they would throw out 10 years from now. Um, then, of course, we want f of 10. And that's going to give us 1,500 times 0 0.98 to the 10th power uh, for 10 years. And um, if we work this out, that's going to give us 1,500. And that multiplier, if you multiply that out or um, calculate that out, is 0 0.8. 817, um, 0728, etc. And what that really means is after 10 years, we're going to have roughly 82% of uh, what we started with in terms of the weight of garbage each year. If we multiply that out, you're going to get 1,225. Let's give it a couple of the decimal places uh, 0.61 pounds of garbage per person. Okay? So there's a, an example of decay, very similar to the previous problem. Um, so just keep in mind that because you're going down 2%, this is a growth factor that's going to be less than 1, meaning you're shrinking each year. Okay, let's go to the next video slide. So here's the next slide that um, puts a little wrinkle into things. Uh, a population of a certain kind of fungi uh, triples every four weeks. All right, so if... If you have 15 fungi to start with, so there's our uh, initial rate, our initial amount. So f of x is going to be 15 times, now it's going to triple every three weeks. So what we're going to say is that it's going to be 3 to the x, except what we really want to account for is if we want to count x's by 1's, then it's going to take four countings um, before we, we get to tripling. So instead of 3 to the x, it's desirable to write this as 3 to the x over 4. What that means is, um, in the first year, you will have 3 to the 1 fourth, um, which is the fourth root of 3. It should take four years of multiplying by something to wind up tripling, and that means four years of the fourth root of 3. If the fourth root of 3 multiplied by itself four times is, of course, 3. So um, we're, this, this basically says that r is the fourth root of 3, and so you have to kind of be comfortable with your fractional roots here. Um, and, um, but th what this allows us to do then is allows x to be each week, and you'll notice that when x is 4, after 4 weeks, you have 3 to the 4 over 4, which is 3 to the first, which is tripling. Um, and so on. So this is how one allows for the every four weeks kind of idea, or every three weeks. If it was every three weeks, it would be x over three. If it was every ten weeks, it would be x over ten, and so on. Um, so this allows you to count x's by ones as opposed to four-week increments, um, and that means we could answer um, both the questions that are asked here. How many will you have after 12 weeks, and how many will you have after 17 weeks? Um, so 17 allows you to count by a fractional amount, um, and we can take a look at what that looks like uh, going forward here. Um, so the um, uh, equation here is going to get us that. Um, so what we then want is f of 12, um, and that's going to be 15 times 3 to the 12 fourths, and of course 12 fourths is 3. Um, and so that means um, you know we're gonna we're gonna wind up tripling three times. So this is gonna give us 15 to the three to the third, and that's 15 times 27, which, if I did the calculation correctly, is 405 um, fungi. Okay, and if we answer the uh, last question, f of 17, and this is where it's convenient, we're allowed to put f of 17 in, that's going to be 15 times 3 to the 17 over 4, which of course then is 15 to the um, times 3 to the 4 and a quarter, because um, it's 4 and, a, uh, uh, um, four and 1 fourth set of four weeks. Um, so this is um, 
going to get us another one fourth root of three as a multiplier. Um, so we can actually write this um, as times three to the 4.25, and you can simply crank that out on your calculator um, as um, 15 times, and that's going to be approximately 106, 106. Point six zero one, um, and so that's going to get us approximately one thousand five hundred and ninety nine fungi. I think rounded to the nearest one. I hope this has been useful. Finally, here's a, a problem that would be very similar to trying to do a geometric sequence when you're given two of the terms in the sequence. You need to find the common ratio and you need to find the, and the initial value. We're going to do this from the um, standpoint of, a, of an ex exponential growth function. So um, in four years, its population was 1,500 people. So what that says is we have f of 4 equals 1500 and that means that's going to be equal to the initial value times the common ratio to the fourth power and we also have here that after 10 years its population is 2400 people so what that says is f of 10 equals 2400 and that means the same initial value times r to the tenth equals 2400. Now, what that means is we have enough information to, to make a nice little ratio. 2400 over 1500 is the same as a sub 0 times r to the tenth over a sub 0, again, in other words, the initial value, times r to the fourth. Now, Thinking about what we've got here, the a sub zeros can cancel because you can divide both top and bottom by a sub zero. And of course, we can reduce the r's to simply get r to the sixth using our exponent uh, rules and knowledge. So 2400 over 1500 is 1.6. And so what we know is r, r to the sixth is 1.6. So, much like we did with um, geometric sequences, we can take the sixth root of 1.6. So, if we take the sixth root of each side, take the sixth root of each side, that's going to tell us that r is approximately then uh, 1. Point, didn't write very well there, sorry about that. That's going to tell us r is approximately 1.6. 0.8148374 and so on. It's an irrational number. It's the sixth root of 1.6. Um, so now what we have is our function um, uh, or, or our common ratio for the function and we can plug that back into either of these two problems to get our um, initial value. So what that would mean is 1500 equals a sub 0 times 1.08148 blah 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 to the fourth and we can do that problem so if we raise this number to the fourth power we're going to get a multiplier of approximately 1.36 so that says 1500 equals a sub 0 times 1.36798 etc. Um, divide both sides by that and we're going to get that the A sub 0 is approximately 1096.5 didn't work out very well but um, th that means the starting population had half a person in it um, but we'll call it 1097, let's say, and um, that gives us an initial value. And of course, this isn't going to work out perfectly because I didn't pick nice numbers. But that means the approximation, approximate population at year zero, before the 20 years of exponential of steady exponential growth, was 1097. After four years, it was 1500. After 10 years, it was 2400. And now we can actually figure out 
what f of 20 is approximately. And of course it's approximate because our 1097 is approximate, but let's just go with it. And that would be uh, times 1.08148, etc. Um, to the 20th, and this winds up being, um, let me do this properly here in just one moment. So we want the sixth root of one point, uh, excuse me, the sixth root of 1.6. And then we want to raise that to the 20th power. And then we want to multiply that times 1.0, uh, 1097. So this winds up being um, a multiplier, just so I can squeeze this in here, that multiplier there of 1.08148, etc. to the 20th is approximately 4.7907 and some more. And I'm going to multiply that by 1097 and I'm going to get uh, that f of 20 is approximately 5,200 55 people. Um, again, not an ideal uh, choice of numbers, but um, you're going to see that the numbers work out properly and you can see the process. And maybe it's just as well that it isn't a perfect uh, setup. I hope this is helpful.